All right, welcome to Six Flags Great America, opening day 2024. Uh, let's check out the Speedy Pass stuff. Looks like Speedy Pass is only in the left two lanes, but I don't know, we'll end up seeing. Certainly uh, not helping things move faster, that's for sure. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, completely not using the speedy parking lanes. All the uh, toll booths do have gates now, though, so uh, that's interesting. Welcome to a cold, windy, miserable Six Flags Great America opening day, where the uh, line for the front entrance starts in the middle of the parking lot. This is certainly better than what it was. Here's what we're looking at on the ground over here. The hill's gone and a uh, whole lot of construction. There's your flag pulse. What a mess. Well, here we are at the front entrance. Time to look at the uh, renovated bathroom one and uh, the removal of all these berms. Doesn't uh, look like they got the bathroom open in time. I think that's uh, gonna be a theme of today. But uh, they definitely widened things. More asphalt, more concrete. Music's nice though. Condor is finally back open after a couple years of closure. Up and running. One of the few rides running right now. Here we are at the uh, good old hangover site. <laughs> Looks like they have indeed put up a construction wall since last week. Put on some uh, Mardi, Gras Mardi Gras decorations and uh, called it a day. Let's see how it looks. Yep, certainly is an empty ride plot. something that's typically uh, high wind sensitive and temperature sensitive, I'm surprised that Joker is running. So uh, along with all of the free spins in the chain, Joker has been moved to just a single train at a time. You can see that there's a black gate in front of uh, Station 2 right there. They're still running all four trains for some reason. But uh, yeah, it looks like this is a permanent change. Also, Joker, a ride that has had a uh, single rider from day one, uh, no longer has a single rider. It's sad. Super Villain Swing is still running, but uh, looks real nice. Stupid go karts are still here. Too bad. Looks like. Uh, Crazy bus is really not uh, <laughs> not quite back on track yet. That's a lot of duct tape. Well, it might be 42 degrees, but at least things are running. Goliath's up, Feather's Fling is up, Raging Bull and X Fighter testing. We're getting there. Well, here we are at uh, Revolution's old plot, and uh, OG no. Another gigantic concrete plot with a couple garbage cans. How crazy. It is so open. Wow. I've also got some stuff going on over here. Let's see. Oh, it looks like they put garbage cans over like 
I'm guessing there will be some sort of awning that's put into the center here. Here's uh, another little building that is uh, very finished. Here we are over at the Sky Striker plot. Uh, I don't think eagles are going to be running today, given that that's its queue. You can actually see that the queue is still cut off over there. And then structure is still on site. Got some uh, markers in the ground. Looks like they're bolting columns together and they've gotten lights on the columns since we've been here last, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Going over to ride X flight to uh, get some views of Sky Striker from the queue, but I mean, you guys hear that? They got all the sound effects back. Looks like just about everything in terms of the structures on site. As is now tradition at this point, X lights on one train during opening day. The new music and spiels though sound really awesome. Really, really cool. X lights running really solid. It felt pretty smooth and uh, nice and intense. Such a great little ride. Too bad it's only on one train. Great music though. Doesn't really look like much has changed over here at Buccaneer. You can see how old the wood is looking. It's been out in the sun for a while at this point. It still looks uh, pretty intact given the uh, circumstances. I mean, I have to. I don't think I've been here since uh, the good old rock has been taken down. Dang. Dang, sounds great. Demon really is just a great ride. It's a really well taken care of arrow. It's about as smooth as you can get with the original trains, and uh, people love it. As announced during No Coaster Con, Wizard is getting a full controls upgrade, and uh, it's definitely not operating today. Holy shit, Max Force is back at two trains. No way. Black train in the station. Oh my god! Red train on the transfer track. Holy shit, finally! <gasps> Well, Max Force is running as good as always, and uh, thank God for two trains. Awesome. I love all the new carousel music in the opening area here. It's actually, uh, makes it re feel really nice. Love it. I'm gonna go ride this thing.
I spent about an hour and a half on in Sky Trek trying to get a specific picture and didn't get it. But uh, oh well, then had to Viper. All right, let's go try out the retrack. I might not be able to take cameras on ride, but no one ever said anything about microphones. All right, row four, let's see if they fix the gigantic pothole. All right, now we're finally dispatching. Let's see how awful this sounds. Looks like there's a little bit of fresh wood on the pre-lift. The track is looking pretty rusty. Any new... Yeah, no new wood on the pre-lift. A little bit on the left, left rail of the double down. Alright, coming up to the hill. It looks like they did a full redo. Woo! Woo! Still a good pop of air time. Still a little noisy, but it looks good. Woo! Air time! Whee! Whee! Good air time. Whee! Good lateral. Oh yeah! Woohoo! Lateral, holy shit! Woo! Air time! Woo! Woo! Oh! Oh man! Here we are at the uh, Windy Windy City Bar. Um, doesn't uh, really look like a whole lot of stuff is happening. Maybe a little bit of uh, work out here, but it still says JB Barbecue, so oh well. Anyhow, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna get this video edited and up right away. I'm gonna still be at the park, but uh, I just wanna get this to you guys as fast as possible. Thanks for watching and uh, catch you in the next one. Next one.